becoming increasingly obvious now that 5G is much bigger than just a generational speed upgrade. 5G is viewed as the foundation for countries' social and economic development all over the world. One of these areas is 5G Smart Grid. At the 3GPP SA number 88E plenary meeting, China Telecom, China Southern Power Grid, State Grid, and Huawei, together with other members, including global carriers and vendors, successfully submitted the Smart Grid project initiated in 3GPP Release 18. The project will define the standard end-to-end uh, -end architecture for uh, 5G Smart Grid. Uh, for the first time, that will lay the foundation for a solid um, uh, architecture for its rapid development. Huawei believes that technology role is to protect our planet, safeguard our privacy, and also build a better future for the Earth as well as its inhabitants. And then in the meantime, there are certainly a wide array of use cases that 5G can enable across multiple industry verticals. With enhanced uh, mobile broadband, MBB being uh, the initial focus area, uh, there is an urgent need to make sure that each bit is transmitted as efficient as possible in terms of energy consumption. Huawei and Analysis Mason have conducted analysis uh, of the impact of 5G on energy efficiency uh, in three industries which require energy efficiency transformation most urgently. Energy, healthcare, and manufacturing. All of these industries currently have the highest greenhouse gas emission. Mid-band spectrum, namely 2.3 gigahertz, 2.6, band 41, and also 3.5, which is a C-band, are becoming increasingly popular, carrying 90% of global 5G commercial network, and hence becoming central to delivering uh, future affordable 5G broadband services. On July 24th, Global TDD Initiative, GTI, had its 2.3 gigahertz spectrum roundtable discussion, highlighting that this band, which is 3GPP band 41, is very popular and promising due to its great propagation characteristics, great capacity, and also large terminal ecosystem as well. It's been crystal clear that the pace of investment in 5G infrastructure, as well as the maturity of its ecosystem, exceed all predictions. Analysts predict that worldwide spending on 5G network infrastructure will double year on year in 2020 with half of all of the investments made on deployment in China. Gartner, for example, predicted that $8.1 billion would be spent globally on 5G uh, by mobile network operators this year, up from $4.2 billion in 2019. Investment in 4G are expected to be total uh, about $16.4 billion, and it remains the technology with the highest network expenditure. In the meantime, uh, Deloro Group has finished their five years uh, mobile core network forecast from 2019 to 2024. One of the major highlights was that expectations of 5G standalone supposed to launch this year with China, South Korea leading the way, followed by US, Western Europe, and Middle East. Mobile core network spending is projected to grow 8% per year uh, uh, over the next five years with the move to 5G standalone. Elisa Estonia CEO Sami uh, Sipanen reportedly slammed a draft government proposal to restrict the role of non-European vendors from 5G network. He basically said that technology from all vendors was built to all of the same standard. With network kits from a mixed supplier, uh, they actually protect against each other. He added that no backdoors have been identified in Huawei equipment. 